This is One Sentence News, a daily podcast featuring three news stories with a sentence-long summary and one sentence of context apiece. I'm Colin Wright. This is a sponsored message. I've been using Anchor as my podcast host for a while now, and it's been a pleasure to use. Anchor offers benefits that most other hosts do not. It's free to use, but it also has a collection of tools that allow you to create a podcast completely within the Anchor website or smartphone app. They distribute your show to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all the other distribution channels without any additional effort on your part, and you can make money from your podcast without any minimum audience size. So you can use it as a more traditional podcast host like I do, but it's also got everything you need to start a podcast from scratch. If you're keen to give it a shot, download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. It's Thursday, December 8th, 2022. Let's talk about the news. From Deutsche Well, German police arrest 25 suspects in plot to overthrow state. German officials have announced that 25 suspected members and supporters of a known terrorist organization were arrested Wednesday morning during a series of raids on 130 properties belonging to 52 suspects in 11 German states, which were part of a larger investigation into a plot to overthrow the government. This plot was apparently predicated on a 1980s-era conspiracy that says it's okay to use violence to overthrow the quote-unquote deep state because, due to a clerical error, basically, the modern German government isn't legitimate or even real, a theory that's similar in many ways to the more recent, also baseless, online forum-spawned QAnon conspiracy. From the New York Times, China eases zero COVID restrictions in victory for protesters. The Chinese government has announced an easing of COVID-era restrictions following a wave of protests across the country and a series of bad economic numbers. This move is surprising pretty much everyone, as most analysts expected maybe an eventual slow walk back of what have become less effective, though still draconian measures intended to help prevent the spread of COVID in China. But this looks to be a much faster pivot in a new direction. It's especially surprising because protests against these restrictions shut down factories and overwhelmed police for about a week recently, and the prevailing wisdom was that the Chinese government would wait a while before changing anything, as they wouldn't want to reward anyone who stood up to the government and upset public order in that way, as that That might incentivize more protests in the future, but here we are. It probably doesn't hurt that the Chinese economy has been in truly bad shape of late, which serves as another excuse to shift away from a flawed paradigm quickly, rather than waiting just to make a point. And from BBC News, U.S. neither encouraged nor enabled Kyiv to strike inside Russia. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken has said that the U.S. has not encouraged the Ukrainian military to launch strikes against Russian targets inside Russian territory, nor did they enable them to do so. In fact, the U.S. government has said they've gone out of their way to adjust weaponry provided to the Ukrainians so as to disallow them from firing into Russia. Despite those assurances, likely provided in order to make it clear that the U.S. is not directly at war with Russia, Ukraine has managed several strikes, seemingly with weaponized drones hundreds of miles into Russian territory within a period of just a few days, which could nudge this conflict into a new stage because Russian civilians and officials may feel more personally at risk, while also heightening the risk of the war expanding beyond Ukraine's borders. And for context, Russia is still lobbing missiles at Ukraine every day, has taken out their energy grid in the middle of winter, and invaded them without provocation back in February. If you're finding some value in One Sentence News, consider leaving a quick review wherever you get your podcasts and or sharing the show with a friend. You can find out more about this show or subscribe to the email version at onesentencenews.com. And you can support this and other related projects, like the Let's Know Things and Brain Lenses podcasts, at understandery.com.